Extraterrestrial beings, technology, heavenly bodies, and all other parts of the universe have influenced the human mindset since ever. Just take a look at these coins. These coins are hobo coins, and hobo coins date back to the 1750s. The skull size and eye sockets of the embossed figure resemble aliens that we often get to see in the movies. Another coin seems to have an embossed image of a UFO hovering above the ground. These coins are subject to human imagination and clearly show that humans have been influenced by the wonders of space for a long time. For studying what is there in space, humans needed a fair idea about how the environmental conditions in space would affect living beings and for that purpose, animals came to the rescue. Since the 18th century, animals have been used for tests aboard balloons and aircraft. A sheep, duck, and a rooster were sent up in a newly invented hot air balloon. The balloon flew for two miles or 3.2 kilometers and landed safely. Hot air balloons cannot gain altitude that could potentially take animals to outer space. So let's talk about the animals that actually were sent to space. Common fruit flies were the first animals that were sent to space. They were launched into space via a captured Nazi V-2 rocket on February 20, 1947. The flies reached an altitude of 68 miles, or 108 kilometers, and were recovered alive by parachute. The massive overload did not hurt these tiny creatures, and just two years later, a monkey was sent to space because it was of utmost importance to study the effect of microgravity on the vertebrate organisms if humans were to ever enter the conditions outer space has to offer, and since monkeys are the closest to human beings in the animal kingdom, a monkey named Albert II was considered for this job. Albert II became the first monkey in space on June 4, 1949. He managed to reach an elevation of 83 miles, or 134 kilometers, yet kicked the bucket on sway when the parachute he was in fizzled. Previously, a monkey named Albert I passed on when the V-2 rocket fizzled before reaching its peak height. Two more monkeys, Albert III and IV, also died because of rocket failures. At the same time, when Albert I was sent to space, the documents for these experimentations went missing for obvious reasons. Humans have made use of many animals to explore the space environment, especially apes, as these apes were implanted with different sensors and were given sedatives before they were launched. The mortality rate among the monkeys who were sent to space was very high, as almost two-thirds of the monkeys that were sent up and retrieved died during their course or shortly afterward. A total of 32 monkeys have flown in space, including rhesus macaques, or Albert II, cynomulgus monkeys, squirrel monkeys, and pigtailed monkeys. Chimpanzees have also flown. After the monkeys, a mouse was sent to space, but this experiment also ended up tragically. It was launched on April 15, 1950, attained an altitude of 85 miles or 137 kilometers, but died when the rocket disintegrated due to parachute failure. Perhaps this was not the only mouse who managed himself a visa for space. Several other mice were also launched during the 1950s. On May 28, 1959, rhesus monkey Abel and squirrel monkey Baker became the first to successfully return to Earth after spaceflight. The monkeys survived 32 times the pull of Earth's gravity and were weightless for 9 minutes out of their 16-minute flight. If you've managed to come this far in the video, do give us a thumbs up. It only takes one gentle caress of a button. Getting back to our topic, after mice, monkeys, rams, sheep, and roosters, it's now time to discuss dogs that were sent to space. During the 1950s, dogs were the preferred animal for the experiments because scientists felt dogs were well-suited to endure long periods of inactivity. As part of their training, they were confined in small boxes for 15 to 20 days at a time. Standing still for long periods, wearing spacesuits, being placed in simulators that acted like a rocket during launch, riding in centrifuges that simulated the high acceleration of a rocket launch, and being kept in progressively smaller cages prepare them for the confines of the space module were all parts of their training. During the 1950s, the Soviet Union propelled 12 dogs on different suborbital flights. Stray mutts were utilized since they were considered capable in terms of dealing with the extraordinary cold. Laika became the first living being to orbit the Earth on Sputnik 2, November 3, 1957. She died several hours into the flight from stress and heat. On July 22, 1961, 
The Soviet Union launched two dogs named Saigon and Desik into space at an altitude of 62 miles. These dogs were the first vertebra animals that landed back safely on Earth. However, the documentation relevant to this experimentation was kept confidential for about 40 years. Only then we got to know that Desik only managed to live for a week after his landing, while Saigon lived another 10 years. Even after Laika's tragic flight, scientists kept sending dogs and other animals into outer space. On July 2, 1959, the Soviet's launch carried two dogs and the first rabbit into space. The Soviet Sputnik 5 was the first to return animals alive from orbit. The passengers were the dogs Belka and Strelka, plus a gray rabbit, 42 mice, two rats, and fruit flies. Belka and Strelka were two lightly colored female mutts. They were used because their lighter color made them more visible. Later reports also claims their photogenic appearance to be one of the reasons. After their landing, Strelka even gave birth to six healthy puppies. On January 31, 1961, Ham, the chimpanzee, flew a Mercury capsule on a suborbital trajectory, three months before Alan Shepard's flight. Enos became the first chimpanzee to orbit a Mercury spacecraft on November 29, 1961. Both chimpanzees survived their flights. Ham proved that most easily doable tasks on Earth cannot be pulled off in outer space. After his flight, Ham lived in various zoos for 17 years. There's a grave in the Museum of Space History as his memorial. Finally, in 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first ever human to go to outer space. It was thought that no more space experimentations would be carried out on animals, but China launched mice, rats, and dogs between 1964 and 1966. Russian space dogs Vedorok and Ugalok orbited a record 22 days before landing safely on March 16, 1966. Their record for longest spaceflight by dogs still stands. In 1969, a monkey named Bonnie was launched and he was supposed to spend a month in orbit, but his health deteriorated and was called back, but sadly he died a day after his landing. On October 18, 1963, Felicity became the first cat to go to outer space. She had electrodes implanted in her skin to transmit her condition. After reaching an altitude of 100 miles or 160 kilometers, she managed to land safely, but after her landing, studies were conducted on her, and unfortunately, after a few months, she died. After humans landed on the moon in 1969, animals in space no longer made the headlines, but spacecraft still carried biological payloads, including rabbits, turtles, insects, spiders, fish, jellyfish, amoeba, and algae. Over time, space traveling is becoming easier. With billionaires planning to colonize Mars, these animals are among the pioneers, courtesy of whom we've witnessed leaps of advancements in space technology. That has been it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.